Hey everyone, it's Melissa here from Melissa Shares, and since we're rolling into July, I wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on in the month of June in my garden here. If you want to look back in time, you're welcome to look at some links down below of my garden updates so you can see how things have progressed over time. So we're wrapping up June, and I'm here amongst my crab apple tree branches. My crab apples should come to ripening come September, October, and we do crab apple jelly in our family, so it's something that's really special about our house and that we really really love over here I wanted to quickly show you in the front yard our front flower bed and stick around till the end because we have work to do for 4th of July and we'll be decorating the front yard for our parade but I did plant my Father's Day flowers I have a video all about how I faked some Father's Day flower pots and they looked lush and great because I didn't plant them in the pots I took the plants later after the holiday and I planted them here in our front flower bed and they're gonna get going soon we're gonna go this way So over here, the side patio basically looks the same as it has. Some things are doing better than others. We've had one harvest of red bell peppers from our volunteer red bell pepper plant and more are coming, I'll show you. So this self-seeded from some bell pepper that was in my compost. We have another green pepper forming that will turn red eventually and some more flowers coming on and it just randomly lives here. So that's great. I've stuck a random little trellis here and I might stick a squash out here but I have yet to plant it so no major changes going on the pots are still blooming over here they're doing okay so everything is happy here it's only in its second summer but here is our grapevine that I wanted to point out to you it is it still has its tag it is a flame seedless grape and I just wanted to show you the few grapes that are starting to come on it gets a fair amount of shade over here so it's not it's not as sunny as it ought to be for it, but it's still, it's still doing its best. Over here, like one of the joys of June is that we hosted Father's Day. So Father's Day was amazing out here on our patio. Just a few things changed out that I wanna show you. Our tomatoes have gone bonkers. I've just stripped the plants because we've had so many tomatoes, I've had to give them away. They're doing great. The Johnny Jump Ups are doing great and they are cohabitating with some more string beans. And I'm putting these flowers in all the summer lunch boxes now. So I'll link up to my summer lunches video. And over here, we pulled out the sweet peas. They were great while they lasted, but the heat got to them and we've put in three more tomatoes um, as per usual my plastic pot is bigger this plant is doing bigger than my real two terracotta pots so I need to really stay on top of watering these and from Father's Day I have tucked in a couple of flowering salvias just to give some pollinators something to do over here while these are growing the cucumbers are producing I have in the flower bed over here my older cucumbers but these are the newer ones here that we planted baby cucumbers are just doing fabulously so this is proof that you can do cucumbers in a pot these are Persian cucumbers we are loaded with flowers the kids know how to come and just pull a cucumber off and eat it off the plant if the water table is out they'll rinse it in the water table but if they don't have access to water it doesn't stop them they just eat it straight off the plant which is great and tucked in here um, you may have seen when I planted these that we put tiny grown from seed Swiss chard in and they are doing great. So this is the, um, the rainbow Swiss chard. I have yellow, I have red, reddish orange, I have white stalks here. Here's some white chard and the chard is fabulous. I'm putting it in um, like sautés, in soups, in salads and the kids love it. It's actually the thing that my two and a half year old picks out of the soup to eat. So it's been super delicious and productive and it makes the pots look extra beautiful I think here on our patio. I'm just going to show you the side yard and then and then we're gonna get decorating later. So this is the big reveal. We're at the end of June. This tomato was so loaded. Again, I just stripped the plant. Our rose bushes are blooming again. Our roses just keep giving. We keep deadheading them and they keep on blooming. The cucumbers, I've started training behind the roses. If you wanna come take a peek, And then probably most exciting of all is how our berry bushes are coming along. They're going crazy. Oh, no, they're not going crazy. Someone pruned them. What the fuck? What? Oh my goodness. The 
Chargers. worst when you film a garden video and then someone has chopped down your thing that's basically what just happened here these were so bushy and so beautiful yesterday you guys and the gardeners came uh, so anyway we're gonna need to trellis these I just need to have a couple posts and a string and we'll tie them up because they were getting in Mommy, the gardeners I'm way the uh, and them. Uh, uh, bunny oh, needs bunny. us anyway let's go inside Hey guys, so I finally recovered from the upset over my raspberry bushes and it's gonna be fine. We ended up decorating this morning, Sunday morning for 4th of July and the bunting looks great. We're gonna have our annual 4th of July parade in our new neighborhood and I'll link below to the video about how we do that. It's really easy and you could even pull it off a couple days before if you wanna have a really small first parade. I also have exciting news about our pool which is gonna have heat soon so we got some used a solar heating panels for our roof and installed those yesterday so we are soon to have free heat for our swimming pool which is a really great consolation prize when all of my baby raspberries got chopped off the vine anyway i hope you're doing well i hope you're looking forward to a great july let me know down in the comments below what you think and if you have any advice about training my raspberry vines i would love to hear from you take care bye bye